Luke 1, verse 39 this morning. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I was excited. I said it's going to be Mother's Day, and I I wanted to come up with a nice slogan for mothers, and, you know, and I started to think too hard on it. But God said, no, I, I want you to stay in, in birthing season. He said, I want you to continue to let them know that it's a season for birthing. There's things inside of them that they're, that they're holding on to that they need to push out. And every time I look at Toby, I, I see so much, brother. He just wants you to step out one time and trust him, and it's just going to act like a domino effect. He, he, he hears your mind, he knows, he said, just trust me. It's birthing season. That, that thing that you're asking for, that thing that you're passionate for, he said, step out and trust me. And watch. And just watch. But he said, stay in birthing season. And he said, ask them, is your gift li leaping? If we look at Luke 1, 39 through 44, it talks about when Mary visits Elizabeth. Now, if we know the story, we both understand that both of these women are pregnant at this visitation. It said, at the time, Mary got ready and hurried to the town in the hill country of Judah, Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of her grief, as your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb Leap for joy. As soon as your sound of your greeting reached my ear, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. It said when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, her baby leaped and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Mary spoke, Elizabeth's baby leaped, and then she was filled with the Holy Spirit. I need y'all to picture this moment. She said, hey, how you doing today? Mm -hmm. And just out of a greeting, her baby leaped. We just spoke about the power of words last week, how, how we need to speak things. And, and right here is showing you that the power of spoken words, just in a simple greeting, made Elizabeth's baby leap to the point she was filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Mary was carrying the anointing of Jesus in the form of a baby. I need you to understand we as believers, we're, we're carrying the anointing of the risen Nazarene. So inside of us, we, we carry Jesus inside of us as well. Yeah. <laughs> so when was the last time you spoke to someone and they baby leaped? Mm -hmm. When was the last time you spoke to someone and they passion, the, the vision that they were driving them into themselves crazy with, it leaped and they said, I'm glad that you came by here and spoke to me today. I feel so much different now. I'm glad. When was the last time you left someone's presence and they said, I'm glad that you spoke to me? 
I know there's moments when I get a phone call and I talk to certain people when I hang up the phone, I have a fire again and, and I get motivated to start doing certain things. But this is what it's talking about, making the, the thing that is inside of your belly leap. Her baby leaped. It didn't say kicked or moved. It said leaped. So her unseen leaped for joy. Her unseen recognized Mary's unseen as Jesus Christ. So that's like a mother carrying her baby. And she goes to see her friend. And they already have names chosen for their babies. And, and the baby in the other womb says, oh man, Elijah's here today. And he starts kicking in his mother's womb excited. I need y'all to see this. The unseen in them recognize each other. Yes. Wow. So Mary is carrying the unseen Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth is carrying the unseen John the Baptist. Yes. Wow. He recognized Jesus and he celebrated. Jesus. Wow. Is there anyone in this room that's foolish enough to celebrate the unseen today? Yes. Yes. So it's Jesus and wow. Mary and, and John the Baptist and Elizabeth and they and they already greeting each other. John said, Oh, this Jesus. He jumped so hard his mother got the Holy Ghost. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? John jumped so much, it's, it's, it caused a reaction. Her spoken word caused a reaction. Wow. How you doing? Baby leaps, Holy Spirit. I need you to understand in this room that I praise. We, we love to worship. I'm a worshiper, believe me, but I, I have to understand that my praise is my weapon. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Amen to that. So there was a praise inside of that baby that, 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 that pushed his mother into a place that she's never been before to the point she reacted. It said she screamed. <laughs> Who am I that, that, the, that the mother of? Who am I? So her baby jumped to the point where he said, Mama, that's, that's, she's carrying the Lord. She's carrying the Redeemer. She, she's carrying the, the Rescuer. She's carrying him. The baby leaped to the point where the mother had to scream. They communicated. Come on, y'all. Wow. So sometimes when we're in the midst of not understanding and seeing what's going on, we need to just leap a praise Jesus. out of us. Thank watch. you, Lord. Praise God. We always wonder what's going to happen next. He said, no, no, no. Kick, leap, do something, and, and watch the atmosphere change. Amen. Jesus. Young born John the Baptist, he, he felt his presence, and, and he made his mother move. And made his mother move. We said he leaped and Elizabeth responded. Mm -hmm. The baby leaped and she responded. Verse 42, in the loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child in you that you will bear. But why am I so favored? Wow. That you can walk and to visit me and to speak to me. Why, why am I so favored? That you come with me with this, with the Creator, with the Savior in your belly. Amen. There's people in our midst that we're gonna go. We need to go see them. They're gonna say, "Why did you come? Why, why me? This Jesus you carry. Why you didn't brought him up in my house? And things are changing. I feel the change. We got the Jesus inside of us. He's saying, "Go and speak to people." All we got to do is speak. Jesus. It's time out for this religious stuff. He said, just speak. You, He's showing us right here. He said, she spoke. She spoke. The unseen's reacted. Wow. <laughs> the unborn couldn't control himself. He felt the anointing, so he celebrated. <laughs> That the Holy Spirit was released over his mother. Good Christ, Jesus. 
the Holy Spirit was released. Elizabeth's womb, in her womb, it said she screamed. Mm. I'm going to keep repeating this scripture because I need y'all to get it in your blood veins. And it says, it said in a loud voice, she exclaimed, blessed are you you're among women. And blessed is the child you will bear. So there's babies in your belly right now that are gifts for the kingdom. And blessed is the child in your belly that you will bear. Blessed is that gift in your belly that you will bear for the kingdom. Blessed is that business in your belly that you're going to bear for the kingdom. Blessed is that vision that you're going to bear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I said in your belly. So as an unborn baby, Jesus is doing water miracles. <laughs> we know he walked on water, but I'm, I'm crazy like this. But I think at that moment he baptized John the Baptist. See? Wow. See? wow. I think like that. At the moment they were in the, in the womb and he, he, and he baptized John the Baptist to the point where his mama was filled with the Holy Ghost. Right. And if we understand the scripture later on, who baptized Jesus? Mm. John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. So they already knew we're going to change the world. Yes. It's my chance. Oh, it's already yes. here. I ain't even born yet, and it's coming to see me. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. So at this moment, when the mothers greeted, At that moment when you go greet somebody, what are you going to release in their presence that make that thing inside of them leap? Because we talk to people who have vision. We talk to people who have the finances to, to bless our businesses and, and, our, and the things that we're trying to do. We talk to them on the regular. But when we talk to them, are we making that thing inside of them leap? Or we talking to them on their level. See, we have the risen Nazarene flowing through us. We have the anointing of the of the Jesus who went down into hell and took the keys. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. We have the anointing of Jesus who died on the cross. In three days, he took it. So this is nice. yes. I'm going to throw this and on the ground. It. Fold this yes, up. I'm going to leave this. Yes, I'm going to leave it right yes, here for him. Then he moved that stone and he yes, just stepped out. And that's what we have yes. flowing through us. Yes. So when yes. is the last yes. time you spoke to someone Jesus. and they leaped inside? Jesus. Jesus. That was God. We carry that anointing. anointing. And yet we walking around scared. Jesus. Won't even open our mouth. Come on, Pastor. Oh, God. You put some music in the room, you put an organ in the room, folks act the fool. But, but when God is saying, I need you to, to speak, I don't know how to speak. I can dance. I can want to lap around this jungle. I can scream. But he said, No, I just need you to greet somebody. Greet them. And I know you're sitting there like, What, what, is, what does this scripture have to do with us? Thank you. Everything. The Jesus we carry is he's goodness. He's beyond this miracle that we're reading about right here. Turn to John 14 and 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I'm going to my Father. Greater, greater works. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes, we talked about believing last week, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I'm going to my Father. So he's reminding us to, to believe and to watch the unseen. Hmm. 
simply believe in the work we read, we shall do and pray. He said, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to go to my father. He said, I'm going to go to my father and I'm going to tell him, look, let's make this one special. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's, 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 they like to turn up. Let's turn up. <laughs> but he's saying, greater work shall we do as long as we believe. So we, we got to stop praying these prayers for our belief right now that you can heal my body, you can heal my child, but at the same time you sit there thinking other things. Our minds are being clouded with all this stuff and we can't even be productive in the kingdom. Sunday morning we on fire for God, but Monday through Saturday we reaching. We saying a few things. We, we act in a certain way, but Sunday, we Sunday He said, no, you're walking around with me with you. <laughs> you walking around and I'm in your belly. Yes. You ain't even speaking to these people. They, they bumping into you. They asking you strange questions. Me and my wife yesterday, people, two people came up to us and, hey, I know you from somewhere. I said, what church you go to? That's the only way you going to know me. People are coming up to us saying you look familiar. Uh -huh. So something inside of him said, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. 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 We in Hardy's yesterday and, and we should have left. <laughs> yeah. How you go to a restaurant and say, if you need anything that's fried, <laughs> we can't cook it. In Hardy's. <laughs> we ain't got no hash browns. We can't do no chicken. We can't do no steak. Wow. We can't do nothing. Unless it's from the grill. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm leaving. <coughs> but while we were in there, this lady came to my wife and she said, I remember your face. I know you. We, you I don't forget a face. I, I know you. We went to school together. She couldn't, con she couldn't figure it out. She said, did, did you used to get in trouble? Like, she was trying. To, <laughs> she was reaching. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> So my wife took the card and she wrote some stuff on the card and, and we waited for the woman to come back and she said, look, I, I don't know you, but here. So at that moment, we had to see that we have to seize these moments because there's people coming to us saying, look, you, you look like somebody. We learned a long time ago about familiar spirits. So these people are reaching for the God in us. Yes, God. Yes, God. They're reaching for the God in you. How will you respond? Hmm. Imagine if the things that we see today were anointed. The billionaires. What if they were doing things for the kingdom? These rappers that we see on the TV and hear on the radio every day, they're reaching. They're reaching. They're, they're saying, hold oh, on, there's nothing else we can do. They're reaching. So imagine if we just made something in them leave with a simple greeting. One of my friends, he, he was telling me this last week that his pastor was in Italy. And he said he was sitting in the sauna and Justin Bieber walked in the room and sat beside him. My wife knows Apostle Juan and I know Apostle Juan. Justin Bieber didn't leave that room the same. I can promise y'all that, because Apostle Juan, he, he walks it. So and it's amazing how God put him in that room with all that in his belly. Mm -hmm. And to send Justin Bieber in there with his reaching self. He's, yes, he's crying for help. I, I yes. need help. Yes. I need help. And he sent a daring man who mm -hmm. would look Justin in his face and give him love. So I'm thanking God for the change Thank that we're going to begin to see in that young man's life because he already knows the Lord. Yes, he does. Yep. But God is saying, go up and greet a stranger and release 
This anointing. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know who you are. But I just want to say hi. Hey. 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 Oh, he they didn't say that Mary reached out and touched him and blah 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 and no. said she spoke. She spoke. So this week, I dare you to speak. Yes. I dare you to speak because I told you that's people who are pregnant with a vision. And nobody is speaking to that vision. They're pregnant with purpose and nobody is speaking to that purpose. They're going home and they got books where they're writing all this stuff and, and they got songs that they're writing and they got recorders that they're talking it in, but nobody is speaking to that vision. So let the Jesus in you, like Mary Mary said, it's the God in me, go up to him. Let your purpose touch their purpose. Let your vision touch their vision. Let your anointing awaken their anointing. Speak. God is saying it's time to open up the floodgates and speak. He said, out of our belly shall flow living water, but out of our bellies, it has to come through the mouth, and then we got closed mouths all the time. How are we releasing the water? See, we've been taught all of this stuff growing up in church, and, 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 and at an age where they start telling you, this is what you got to do. I've been sat down and told that I had to do A, B, C, D. That's right. And I said, no, that's religion. That's, that's, that's food. I don't, I don't ask you to do this if you look at the scriptures. It, it never asks us to do all of this stuff that is required of us from other leaders. <laughs> Let us say that her baby leaped and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. And if we go in deeper into the Bible, we'll see the moment where later on we were introduced to the releasing of the Holy Spirit. So as a child in the womb, Jesus was releasing the the Holy Spirit. As an unseen vessel, he was releasing something before it even came. Just to show his power. So what is it in you? Does he want to release on somebody before it's even known? What is it in you that, that he wants to use you and to release something new? Hallelujah, Jesus. That they say, man, I, I, I went to visit her. She came to my house. <laughs> Monday. <Wow>. Tuesday, I couldn't <laughs> get out the phone. Wednesday, I couldn't get up. <laughs> Thursday. I try, but every time I move, I, I begin to speak a different language. Yes. Every time I open my mouth, I start saying something, and I don't understand the language, but I was crying out something. And today, Sarah, it's the first time my feet have been able to touch the floor because she, <laughs> she left something in me. <laughs> he left something in me when he, when he left me. We were in the Queen City. <laughs> the land of opportunity. We're, in, we're here. 